Hello everybody and a good day to you all there to the runaway season number one episode number six <clears throat> Metaphor Metamorphosis. And here we have Alex and the kids trying to ha have a plan to expose their parents to the world. There's some big beneficial benefit party, and they're gonna use use this time to pretty much expose their parents as some as the psychopaths that they are. And through but through this, other things get exposed. First, we found out about Caroline's um, true parents, who the, who her father actually is. Okay. Then you also find out that um, the, the, Victor, the Victor Stein finds out that his wife Janet is having an affair with Robert Tina's um Tina's husband, and he exposed that to the whole party. And so and and, and, and so and then that Caroline finds out that she can fly. Yay! And we also find out that she her, her sexual orientation that she's a lesbian. But she's not willing to like go out on that just just, just yet. I mean, she's she's having a hard time hard time figuring out why she's like why she glows. So now she's trying to now she's trying to, um um. Well, she actually knows her sexual orientation. She she likes girls, but the problem is she likes one specific girl, Nico, and Nico has feelings for Alex. So you have Nico who has feelings for Alex. Alex has feelings for Nico. Um, Caroline has feelings for Nico, and then but Chase has feelings for Caroline, and then Gert has feelings for Chase. But Chase has feelings for Caroline. Like, like, like oh my gosh, all these romantic feelings all over the place. Like, everybody bounces all about it. But every, only, per, only people who actually are actually a, a couple, sort of, is um, Nico and Alex. They're, they're the only two who actually do have feelings for each other. Everybody else is chasing after somebody else who's not chasing chasing them. And then you have um Caroline <clears throat> who's gonna try to force herself to go with Chase to be this is being spite of, of Gert because she knows that Gert wants Chase, but she doesn't want Chase either. So I don't understand why you're doing this. Like what why why are you making more drama for yourself? I just like stop it. All you have to do is tell Chase the truth that you're that you're not into him. You're you're gay. He will understand that you, you you lead them on like this is not helping the situation. It'll make it'll make things worse. Now I am enjoying this show and I'm enjoying this the season so far. I'm enjoying the characters, but I, like I said, I never read the books before. But I start, I'm starting to read a little bit more of information about on, 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 on the internet, and I'm starting to notice that I'm starting to notice that this, that the TV show this is the TV the, this version of the, of the of the show of the of the comic is making the story a little bit more complicated <clears throat> because in the comic books. Caroline's parents, both of them, were aliens. Aliens from there, aliens from another planet, and and they would pretty much lie to her, force her to wear that bracelet, which is that is true, to try to suppress her powers, because they, they made her think that she was, was she was she was sick, and that she needed she needs she needs that bracelet. <clears throat> but but there, there was no second person in there. There was no Jonah. There was, there, it was just her her parents. Both of them were aliens. That's that was it. Another, another thing to make to make it a little more complicated is. <clears throat> The parents being evil thing, because it seems like the, all the parents weren't on board with the sacrificing thing. They were tricked. They were tricked into doing it, and, and, and since they got caught on tape doing this thing, now now they got stuck doing it from then on. And yes, the person they, when they sacrificed they, when they, the person they sacrificed to Jonah did help help them benefit them in their careers, help them get to the position that they are now, help, 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 help them become successful. He pretty much helped each and every one of them become successful, and that's why they, that's why they went to this, this whole thing, and this whole ceremony in the first place. But, <clears throat> it seemed like they're not really, they wasn't quite on board with the fact that they were sacrificing people. But in the comic books, they were completely on board with this. And they were, they were sacrificing kids to some god for the, for the, the, the benefit them. And, they were just evil. They were just evil people. But now, in the, in the, in the story here, the live action story, it's a little bit more complicated. It's not all black and white. I mean, you have um, Victor Stein, who's abusive to his wife and his son. But then we find out his son is also in the science too. Now he's turned his like it seems like he has turned around, and now he wants to be there for his son. And it's now his son is feeling conflicted about does he want to turn his father in or not because his father's actually being there for them for the first time ever in his life. So that's just so should, 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 should I hate Stein or should I like Stein? And then you have um, Tina Tina Maru, who has been cold and distant from from the beginning, and you, you don't even like her. 
But then you see this episode right here, you actually feel sorry for her, and you see Nico, who actually want to be there for her mother, because her, her mother realized that her, that, her, that her daughter could also use the stab as well, too. So now, they, now they're connecting and bonding. So I just, so should I hate her or not like her? I just, I don't know how to feel. And then you have, um, um, Molly and Gert's parents, who have been nice since the beginning, so I don't like them at all. So I just, I don't know what's, what the... How, how, should I should I should I be rooting for, rooting for these kids to fight their parents or work with the parents? I have no idea because the show is called The Runaways, and then, then so far they nobody ran away yet, and so I'm trying to figure out should they run away or should they not run away? Should they should they try to work alongside their parents to make things right or should they turn their parents in? I have no freaking clue. I just, I, I don't know how to feel. They they make things so complicated that I I cannot root for, against them or for them. Even though the acting and everything is good, and I am enjoying how the kids interact with one another, that part is good. But the, but it conflicts with what's going on with the story. I don't, I, I don't know. No, I, I should. I should. All right. Are they the bad guys or are they not the bad guys? Uh huh. Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure how to feel about the show. Like I'm enjoying it, but at the same time, it's confusing. Yeah. So leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of um, The Runaways. Are you enjoying this series so far? Leave comments down below. If not, still leave comments down below. Well, let's just give my channel a big old like, the thumbs up. Mm, boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.